Hi, good morning, and welcome to the ZP Vlog and Podcast. So we like to do this every week, and it's really just a wrap-up from the news from ZP for this week. So I will jump straight into it and just say today's the 3rd of March, um, 2024, and what have we been up to this week? Um, so we have been doing um, quite a lot, obviously, around, well, not obviously, but we have been doing quite a lot around food sense. Hi, food sense um, is really a derivative of Sensi All. So Sensi All is this kind of, I describe it as an IVD platform, an in vitro diagnostic platform. Um, in vitro diagnostics for me is just really a form of kind of point of need, point of care testing. So you do have these different terms probably used by slightly different industries. So point of care diagnostics is definitely something that um, the medical diagnostics industry would recognize. IVD, I suppose, in vitro diagnostics is a broader term, which just kind of means you're, you're um, doing analysis outside of the body in some sort of plastic, or traditionally it was glassware, but these days it's plasticware. And point of care, probably just the sort of miniaturization and then the making of that IVD type technology available to people um, in the doctor's surgery or at home. So backing up slightly, you know, so we do have the Sensi All platform and one of its applications then is testing chili and ginger um, in foods. Now we have been um, testing, there's a couple of you know, famous, there's a, there's a famous breeder out there called um, Ed Curry. He grows the Pepper X um, chili. And um, we've been testing the hot sauces um, from his company, which is called Pucker Butt. So that is something that we have been doing, let's say, um, this week. Um, other news from ZP this week as well is I quickly started grabbing hold of the hardware because of Food Sense, because we actually also did a webinar on Sensi All. And I realized that people who are kind of, you know, who come to both our webinars on Food Sense and on Sensi All will see that, you know, the hardware is really similar. See, the word Sensi it All, it wasn't a name that I invented. It came from one of our engineers. But it kind of, you know, it, the name sounds, you know, sounds hyperbolous in some ways, or, you know, but actually it does mean, you know, that electrochemistry is a very powerful analytical science. And actually we can sense an awful lot of things using this technology. Um, so the word sense it all, or the name sense it all is not so ridiculous. Um, and what we can sense are foods. But then we were doing a sense it all um, webinar as well, because the sense it all is actually a platform, not so much for ZP, but it's a platform for other people to actually take their products and ideas to the market. So now I can almost say to people, um, you know, we believe in the two year manifesto, which just says you're a startup, you need to get to market within two years. Um, and therefore, we think you should be adopting the kind of technology stack from ZP. Um, so uh, because otherwise people are spending a lot of time doing what we call technology readiness levels. You know, they're kind of coming up slowly, these technology readiness levels. And when they are, when they are actually successful, they then find out that the market didn't really want the product that they were um, otherwise thinking of developing. So we have... Um, you know, made this hardware, made this technology stack and said, right, you know, you generally can get on with actually talking to customers, putting this in the hands of customers and actually getting on with it, essentially. Um, so that's what the Sense It All is about. And in order to kind of demonstrate that, you know, the Sense It All is not just a nice idea, we give it application from the Food Sense. So there's a sort of, sorry for that complexity in terms, but Sense It All is the platform. Food Sense is essentially an application that we at ZP promote and we take it out into the food industry. But if you've otherwise got an, an interest in sort of veterinary sciences or something like that, then you can also use the Sensi All platform um, to explore um, veterinary sciences. So, um, or you can explore, you know, water quality um, applications, etc. Because in the end, there's so many, the whole world at some point in whatever application, whatever market needs to measure something. This is, you know, this is just the world we live in. Um, especially in production and environmental and healthcare. So Sensi All is that sort of platform. Um, at the same time, as we were doing our webinars of Sensi All this week, we were also doing webinars on our um, Food Sense Generation 4 and actually doing live demos in front of people and demonstrating that um, we could measure chili and ginger. Um, and those webinars, I think, went down really well which sort of show people what actually comes in these boxes. And I think I'm kind of very happy because this, I don't want to say simplicity, that's a 
too strong a word, but the simplicity of the system, um, which is really reflected through the manual, because the manual is so thin and small, that um, people can just pick these boxes up and start using the technology inside without actually any training from us, even though we offer training every time. I'm starting to come to training sessions now and find that people already set up the system. So I'm like, okay, so they don't need my training anymore. Fine. Um, and no offense, of course, you know, we're happy to, we're happy to really then start exploring the application rather than the training itself. Um, something that is still going on at ZP is, and we do get asked it a lot, um, is CGM, continuous glucose monitoring. Um, we do have a large technology platform on the continuous glucose monitoring. You could also subscribe this to continuous lactate monitoring or continuous keto monitoring. Um, but we do have a large technology stack for this and we do People ask us about it. We do webinars about it. Um, I know people asked me the other day, somebody's picked up on it, that we have something like 50 patents on this. And they were just interested in where those patents were. So I did direct them. I knew they weren't necessarily going to want to engage with us, but, you know, I, they're doing some other technologies, let's say. So they wanted to understand they're probably their freedom to operate. So I told them where the patents were. Um, we are going to have our developer zone. So every week we do a... Um, a webinar so if you are a technology developer and you want to ask a question of zp you are super welcome to we have um, a contact us button on the website that fills in a form that form comes to us and um, you can ask questions and we will answer them during our um, weekly webinar so that will happen on the 7th of march um i know i've talked chilies a lot uh, at the moment um but I always say to people, look, you know, ZP is not becoming that chili company. What we are, what we are, is a electrochemistry company that fo that um, focuses on electroanalytical sciences. Electroanalytical sciences really lend themselves to rapid in-field testing. An example of rapid in-field testing is chili and ginger testing. So the application is really a reflection of the deeper science that's going on here. Um, and so you can, you can often swap the words and the problems that we're solving in the chili and ginger space for actually, uh, analysis in general. So we did do a, we did put a big, um, video out on, um, the science really of measuring Scoville heat units. And then, um, one of our, um, people we know in the community, a gentleman called Ed Curry actually used the video, um, on his website. So Ed, um, is the grower of Pepper X. Pepper X is the Guinness, well, it, it holds the Guinness um, world record for hotness of chili. I think it's about 2.6, 2.7 million. So Ed actually knows a lot about breeding chilies, but he also understands a lot about the science of chilies. Um, and so, you know, we reflected a lot of what, um, the, a lot of the science in that video. And then Ed actually included that video um, in his, um, on his channel so it was kind of you know he did start with saying oh it's a little long in you know but the, the thing about science is deep tech is not exactly a short thing you know you can summarize it in short you know in short you could summarize food sense generation four as being the world's only patented rapid test for the hotness of chilies yeah you could but actually then if you really want to understand the nuances of what scoville heat unit is um how it's affected what actually happens when you put these capsaicin molecules into a chili sauce that's not necessarily a short um video so we did we did um put some explanations out there and ed's picked up on them so that's great i suppose linked to that is at f we say that if somebody is a food sensation for customer we'll support them uh, by uh, personalized training which we give um we'll support them through the weekly webinars and we support them through the monthly webinars and demos so that said um we've had a client um, in India, I think we've been testing them from about August, September last year. Um, I knew that they were still using it through November. Now we're in February, March, and they're still, of course, using it, and we're still supporting it. But the support is a gentle support. You know that um, they're very receptive to what we talk about, um, and I feel like you know when we support them, they move forward. You know, so it's nice to give that kind of support because. Um, sometimes you can give support and you feel like no i'm just in a circle here we're not progressing we're just in a holding pattern but with these people we're giving support um they take it on board 
um, they, and they basically move forward with it every time. So it feels a very kind of um, good, um, a very good interaction, let's say. And um, it's quite interesting actually, because when I was answering their questions, I realized that also that there's a sort of a slight um, problem in the chili world, um, not major maybe, but um, it, it's something they have to be aware of, which is something called mycotoxins. Mycotoxins are something that really comes from um, funguses. So I think these funguses can kind of probably grow on the on the chilies or the powders even. Um, there's, there's a couple of um, aflatoxins and something called ochratoxin. Um, and they may have to monitor for that. So we did ask in the in the video whether um, they would want us to add those to the menu. I did suggest it's not easy to add these mycotoxins. It's not because we can't detect them. Well, in fact, it's not because we can't analyze them. It's the detection limit. These are in parts per billion, um, you know, which is super low and something we'd have to really think about um, at ZP, but something I am super interested in doing. So um, that is um, something we're, that we're talking about. And it was kind of nice because we're supporting these people on a particular chili. And they had a problem, which was they were measuring in November last year and they were getting things like 155,000 Scoville heat units. And today they're getting 10,000. Um, but I always say, you know, look, you know, the system gives you a number on the phone and it puts the raw data into, into the cloud. And the fact that we have access to the raw data really allows us to say, you know, is this, is this an, if it was an error, you know, the raw data wouldn't look like capsaicin, but it looks like capsaicin. It's just not very much of it there. So I suppose people have to sort of start understanding that when the peaks are small, it's because there's not much capsaicin in the sample. Now, does that mean there's not much capsaicin in the fundamental chili or there's not much capsaicin getting from the chili into the test solution? You know, so these are things that we then have to discuss through. But I think it's nice because the kind of support that we give is um, we're fairly good at science. So, you know, we're bringing kind of experiences and thoughts that are not necessarily embedded in all of these industries. And at the same time, of course, you know, in answering those questions, we always learn something as well. Whenever you answer a question and think something through, it's not just the, the receiver that's who's getting the benefit. We're also getting the benefit because it just teaches you something every time you have to think through um, problems. So we're quite happy to do it, especially with these guys, because, you know, their reception is so good and they're so, you know, let's say pleasant with it. And we're really enjoying that experience. So if I was to summarize up then, so we do these um, webinars or I should say vlog once a week. It's really just to kind of run through things that we've been up to during the week. Um, so it's fair to say that there's been Sense It All and Food Sense is what we've been talking about, but we haven't lost sight on continuous glucose monitoring. In fact, I think we're going to be pushing on wearables um, a lot more um, in the next few weeks um, because, you know, in, in life at ZP, we're very interested in rapid tests and we're also interested in continuous wearable tests as well. And it's nice that other people have picked up on the quality of the science that we're putting out there. Because as I said, this Ed Curry picked up one of our videos and promoted it through his channel as well. So we're grateful for that. If you have any questions for ZP, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Otherwise, um, there will be a webinar on Thursday, the 7th of March. That will just be answering technical questions. And we will do this news wrap up um, next week as well. Okay, thanks very much.